Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. I'm out in Anza Borrego. It's uh, my birthday weekend and I'm enjoying one of the last trips I'll have out here this summer uh, or this spring because it starts to get hot. Today wasn't too bad. Tomorrow's forecast is in the 90s. And um, so I wanted to cover five things that you shouldn't do or you are prohibited from doing in Anza Borrego State Park. And I'll link below in the comment section to some uh, resources. So number one, in Anza Borrego State Park, sandy washes, paved roads, dirt roads are all considered roads. And that requires a highway legal vehicle in the park. So if you have a side-by-side -side or something that's not licensed, a dirt bike that's not licensed, you cannot operate that in the state park. It needs to be licensed and highway legal. Uh, when you enter the washes, when I came down uh, this evening here, uh, the wash is clearly marked highway legal vehicles only. So don't bring your side by side in. I understand the ticket is really, really expensive and uh, the rangers are pretty serious about it. So there's an overlay in the, in the state park that uh, prohibits flying in the park. I have a part 107 certification, so I always follow the rules, so I never fly in the park. I'll fly outside the park, but uh, don't be that guy. Uh, the next thing is if you're gonna camp out here, and Anza Borrego is really great in that basically you can camp anywhere uh, a vehicle length off a road. So in the washes out in the back country, unless it's clearly marked no vehicles, you can camp. And uh, one thing that is required if you want a campfire is you need to have a metal container. It needs to have a uh, sidewalls on it. it, needs to have a bottom. You don't want to build a ring, a rock ring and burn the fire on the sand. And uh, when you're done with it, uh, be sure to take a shovel and dig up the ashes and cart them out with you. Uh, please, 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 anything that you bring in to the park other than your foot, footsteps or your tire tracks, they should go back out with you. Um, if you'd like to see a video I did on uh, how I deal, deal with overlanding and toilets and packing that out, I'll link to that um, up here. Uh, number four, animals, uh, dogs particularly, must be on a six foot leash or shorter. Um, they're not allowed on trails, uh, so they need to be in camp or on a road. Uh, if it's a trail, they're prohibited on that. They'll usually be clearly marked that animals are not allowed. So like on Fonts Point or any place like that that's got a little bit of a trail into it, uh, dogs are not allowed. Finally, the, um, this is a state park, so all natural uh, artifacts, plants, rocks, um, anything like that is, is to be left in the park. You're not supposed to gather it up and take it outside the park. So I, I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, I'd uh, greatly appreciate a like, or, or better yet, subscribe. I do overlanding and camping videos, gear reviews, and would love to have you on my adventures. If you see me out and about, be sure to stop and say hi and have a great day. And remember, get outside.